Hello dear friends, welcome back to your own YouTube channel Civil Engineer. In previous video, we have discussed the quantity estimation of retaining wall having trapezoidal cross section. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss the stone masonry quantity estimation for a retaining wall having a complex cross section. To learn properly the concept, do not skip the video and if you have any questions, Please share it with us by writing it in the comment box. Please watch the video full and do not forget to like this video. Let's start today's discussion. Suppose we have to find the quantity of stonework for this retaining wall. The dimensions of the retaining walls are the base width of the retaining wall is 2.5 meter. The depth or the thickness of the first step is 1 meter. The height or thickness of the second step is 1.5 meter. The height of this portion is 2 meter and the height of the last portion is 0.5 meter. Top width is 0.75 meter. This middle offset is 0.3 meter and this lower offset is 0.2 meter on each side. And it is required to estimate the quantity of stones required for this retaining wall. The length of the retaining wall is 30 meter. Now to find out the total quantity of stone required for this retaining wall, first we have to determine the cross-sectional area of the retaining wall. As you can see that the cross-section is a composite one and it includes different regular shapes. So first we will divide the cross section of the retaining wall into regular shapes like I have divided this into four different areas like A1, A2, A3 and A4 which is triangular portion. Here you can see that three areas are rectangular and one area is triangular. Length given is 30 meter. The total cross sectional area is represented by A. So the total cross-sectional area of the figure will be equal to sum of the cross-sectional areas of the all figures that is A1, A2, A3 and A4. Now we will find area of each regular figure. For A1 we know that the dimensions are 2.5 meter by 1 meter. So the cross-sectional area will be equal to 2.5 multiplied by 1 which is equal to 2.5 square meter. Now we will point the cross-sectional area of this second figure which is also a rectangular. Its total height is 1.5 plus 2 plus 0.5 which is equal to 4 meter and its width is 0.75 meter. So area of figure 2 will be equal to A2 which is 0.75 multiplied by 4 which is equal to 3 square meter. Now we will find the area of third figure which is A3 and we know that the height of A3 is 1.5 and its width is 0.3 meter. So 0.3 multiplied by 1.5 is equal to 0.45 square meter. Now we will find the area of the last and fourth figure which is a triangular one. First we have to find the base fit and height of the triangular portion. The base of a4 or triangular portion can be found by subtracting these all offsets from the base width. So base of A4 is equal to 2.5 minus top width minus 0.3 meter minus 0.2 meter minus 0.2 meter. So base of A4 is equal to 1.05 meter. Height of A4 will be equal to sum up 1.5 meter and 2 meter which is equal to 3.5 meter. Now as we know that the area of a triangular portion is equal to 1 over 2 into BH. So A4 is equal to 1 over 2 into base which is 1.05 multiplied by height which is 3.5 meter. After simple calculation we will get A4 is equal to 1.8375 square meter. So we have find the area of all the four figures. Now the total or composite area will equal to A which is equal to A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4. Now just put values in this equation we will get the total area is 
7.785 square meter. Now to find the volume of retaining wall, just multiply area with the given length. Area is 7.785 square meter and the given length is 30 meter. After simple calculation, we will get the total volume is 233.625 cubic meter. So the total quantity of stone work required is 233.625 meter cube. It was all for today. Thank you very much for watching the video full. Please do not forget to like this video. Thank you very much.